Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Omori. Last time we explored most of this building, now we're going to explore the fifth floor, which appears to be the top. Lord Jossum. 1890X to 1920X. Sir Jossum. 20X to 50X. 50X to 70X. Professor Jossum. Dr. Jossum. 70 to 80X. Mr. Jossum. Incumbent. Whoa, 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 look who we have here. Trying to talk to the big boss, eh? Sorry to burst your bubble, but can't let anyone through willy-nilly. Oh, man, really? Come on, barely. We've known each other forever. Can't do us a small little favor? <sighs> Sorry, Cal. Boss's orders. His big day doesn't want any disturbances. Got a tofu fundraiser to prepare for tonight. But barely, it's me. Your old friend, Cal. You and me go way back. Think of all the good times together. Hey, quit it. They made, head, they made me head of security for a reason. They wanted someone tough. Somebody who could make the hard decisions. Hard-headed person. And look at my badge. It's so shiny. Hmm. Quick, Kel, think of something fast. I know. Hey, Barely, a good friend of Mori is interested in a job. You know the boss never turned out free work. Hmm, that is true. But please, Barely, please, 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 please. <laughs> oh, all right. I'll let you through this time. Only if you give me some bottled water. Hey, you got me some bottled water? Thanks, I owe you one. Come on, boys. You got pizza in the break room. All right, free pizza. Ugh, there aren't any pineapples. Oh, of course. The casino's run by a shark. <laughs> Concierge. Just one moment, I need to check something on my PC. Alright, I had to make sure that I had enough space on my computer for this. Alright. Long time viewers will know that I often fill up my PC with files. Big boss man's telling me I'm going to wait. Who does he think he is? Some of us have lives, you know. I'm late for my payments. Mr. Jossum's going to have my head on a stick. Woe is me. It is not alive. Boss coming up for an important meeting, but he's not available. I don't know. Should I wait here or keep working? Here, Jossum, his new bodyguard is real tough. No way he's going to be matched for touchdown. I am waiting here in order to conduct some important business. Afterwards, I will conduct more important business. Jocelyn and I, we have many matters to discuss. Yes, many, many things. Oh, jeez. It's gotta be me who has to tell Jocelyn another investor's backing out. It's not my fault, all right? There's no way I'm gonna tell him that. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Hello? Please hold. Aubrey! Here to break you out. Dang it, Kel, go away. Can't you see I'm busy? Snap out of it, Aubrey. This isn't who you are. You know, three people cancel the meeting today. Three people. I'm supposed to reschedule them, but I don't even know how that's going to fit with all these useless events planned. Now, eventually, we have a fundraiser. Of all things, it's a tofu fundraiser. Who in their right, right mind would pay clans for tofu? I tried telling the boss so many times, but we won't listen. This is a nightmare. Okay, Aubrey, I'm going to need you to breathe. I'm breathing, Kel. Breathing just fine. Deep breaths, Aubrey. Deep breaths. Not a secretary. Basil is missing and we need to find him. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's right. How could I forget? We have to find Basil. Oh, Mori, is that you? You must be here to save me. <laughs> I'm so happy. Wait, what about me? Mori, you have to get me out of here. We can just leave, Aubrey. The exit's right there. It's not that simple, Kel. 
We signed contracts, remember? Aubrey, Aubrey, where have you been? Trying to get a hold of you the past 10 seconds. How's that rescheduling going? Sorry, Mr. Jossum, something came up. Hi, Mr. Jossum. Dang it, you again, Kel. I thought we sent you far, far away from here. Did I tell you not to leave your post? Well, I came all the way back to personally tell you that I quit, and I'm bringing Aubrey with me. Very funny. My office, Kel, now. I'll send him in right away. You too, Aubrey. Bzzzt. Dang it, Kel, you're gonna get me fired. I know, isn't it great? Come on, let's go. Right up the elevator. Ah, oh, crap. Mr. Jossum. That's the name that'll get everyone's attention. Type to never get his hands dirty, and I don't blame him. If I get anything I want with snap my fingers. Bills. Now the smoke stick over there. I even need a fat stacks of cash. Old grandfather clock. A closer inspection, it isn't working. Stocks are up. Extra hard nights. Telephone calls up the wazoo. Barbie's planner. A tightly packed, color-coded schedule for the next few weeks is written neatly in color pencils and crayon. Oh, that's cute. I gotta get some crayons. Unpaid bills and legal fees. Wow. I guess it shouldn't be that weird that I confused Hero for Kel. Oh, this is unusual. Mari's picnic basket is here, but she isn't. Fruit juice. Fruit juice? Alright, hopefully this is going to be a boss fight. Stop that. <laughs> it's funny. Right, let's see if so we don't have to do that again. Oh, we're still waiting, huh? <laughs> oh man, he looks awesome. He looks so <laughs> ah, perfect. Ah, oh, you're finally here. Hi, Mr. Jawsome. <clears throat> Alright, kids, let me lay this down for you. The contract states here, you've agreed to work for me, better for worse, without pay, for the rest of your life. A contract is a promise. You wouldn't break a promise, would you? Shoot, he's right. We can't break a promise. What do we do, Aubrey? Mr. Jossum, it's true we did make a promise to you, but we also promised each other we'd find our friend Basil together. Uh, yeah, that's right. That means you have to let us go. I guess I can respect that. Promise is a promise. Aubrey will let you leave, but you have to take hell with you. Really? Wow, thank you, Mr. Jossum. You're too kind. Awesome, let's go. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hey, can we bring my brother Hero with us? Heh. <laughs> You're a funny kid, Kel. Jo <laughs> Want me to give you Hero? That's rich. Rich, I tell ya. Hero is, fins down, the best worker I've ever hired in my life. Very presence increases my work output by 700%. Be a fool to let go of a worker like him. Hey, Mr. Jossum, I finished setting the tofu fundraiser like you asked. The upset room is decorated, toys are clean, and the food tastes spectacular if I do say so myself. Ask clean your windows, mind your floors, fed your pets, organize your sunglass collection, fold your laundry. And here's your coffee. Thought you'd enjoy that. <laughs> See, kids? Amazing work, hero. Just amazing. Might even consider paying you one of these days. <laughs> really? Be an honor, sir. Hey, guys. What are you doing here? You looking for a job, too, Omori? Hero, what happened to you? Don't tell me that even you forgot about Basil. 
Oh shoot, that's right, we need to find him. How could I forget something so important? What are we doing here? We gotta go right away. Oh there, hero, not so fast. Got some unfinished work. Let's put to usher in the VIPs for the fundraiser. Mr. Dawson, I'm sorry, but with due respect, the Tofu fundraiser can wait. Hmm. <laughs> Feelings are hurt, hero. You haven't forgot about our contract, have you? You know, contracts signed by a child aren't legally binding. Uh, I forget the contracts. Basil needs us. We have to go, hero. <laughs> don't listen to her, hero. Why would you? You didn't even sign a contract with her. I don't listen to Aubrey because of a contract. I listen because she's my friend. I'm sorry, Mr. Jossum. My friend's more important than a measly piece of paper. A measly piece of paper? You disrespect me, boy. Take you in, a young with no experience, and I turn you into the ultimate employee. You know, he was that great before you got your hands on, your fins on him. Also, uh, I had tofu for the first time the other night. It was pretty okay. Bland. You'd be nothing if it wasn't for me. Punishment for breaking a contract is death. Teach you to respect your superiors. Oh, that's cute. Boys, be so kind to show the kids the way out. Oh, we got the party all together. Takes no damage until the others are dead. That makes sense. So does Sunny have a crush on Aubrey in the real world? And that's why Aubrey. Um Let's go, Aubrey. And that's why, um <laughs> calls a gator guy. Karate chomp. Anyway, what if Sunny has a crush on Aubrey in the real world? Ooh. And that's why in the dream world, I want these kids gone, you understand? Wow, he's so huge. Sorry, I gotta get this thing out. In the dream world, that's why he has, that's why Aubrey has a crush on Omori, because it's, it's wish fulfillment. Also, Mr. Jossum's arms are fucking huge. Like, look at look at him. He's bulging out of his suit. Just, jeez, man. Hell yeah. Gator guy runs him out. Gets a free pizza on me. What do you mean running on henchmen? That's impossible. <laughs> oh, that's funny. It's cute. I like that. <laughs> music so jazzy so I just wanted to fix that you love a good jazzy tune you know get him hero yeah, 65 damage. I love Karate Chomp. Fuck, this is such a bop. I'm doing all the work. <laughs> That's cute. I don't think we've seen that one before. Ooh, they're enraged. Neat. 
They just have to be foiled by a bunch of children. What do I even hire you for? Nice. Contract. Rally, nice. Nice. That's enough. Stand down, man. We're getting nowhere like this. Hmm. <laughs> Gotta admit, kids are pretty strong. Doesn't matter now. If you wasn't the only ultimate employee, I have but one other. You can come in now, Pluto. <gasps> No, not Pluto. Pluto, it's me, Cal. Can't you recognize us? We're your friends. Sorry, Cal. Nothing personnel. Just business. Joel, see how you do against the strength of a former planet, Pluto. Show these kids your true power. Right away, sir. Sorry, everyone. End of the road. All right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Behold, this is my final form. Can you feel the heat? Pluto expanded. Radical. This is this is great. I love this. Oh, I feel bad that I'm fighting Pluto, but the fight's gonna be dope. Stab, stab, stab. Oh, this is the best. For reference, I have no intention to skip through boss fights. <laughs> wow, that damage, though. Wait, like the Earth Moon? I think the Earth Moon is actually bigger than Pluto is. I guess he is expanded. Pluto itself actually does have a moon by the name of Charon. Um, named after the boatman. Charon has one of the coolest jobs. The official job title in Greek mythology, and all mythologies actually, is uh, Psychopomp. That's uh, the name for someone who takes people to the afterlife. Okay. We just need Aubrey to survive. Perfect. Perfect. Fantastic. Yeah. Oh, I see. We've all gotten stronger. So have I. Expands even further. Okay, interesting. Let's try some dynamite. <laughs> I 
Okay, that's all. That's not bad. Keep it coming. Let's see what else we got in here. Nice. There goes your defense, son. Ooh, that damage. Hmm. Well done, children. You've come a long way. But I'm not finished yet. Nice. 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 Well, we've really gotten stronger. I'm so proud of you. But even still, I have a job to do and I plan on finish it. Brace yourself, children. This is the definition of power. When I flex. He feels his best. I feel my best! All right, all right, break it up, break it up. Ah, cool, Pluto. I'm already losing one ultimate employee and I'm gonna lose two. But sir, I can defeat them. Give me a little more time. Don't sweat it, Pluto. I ain't risking any more assets today. Sorry, I just had to text my wife. Just get out of here. You've all been nothing but pain in my tail. Anyway. Thank you, sir. You won't regret this. Huh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nothing really, like, there's really nothing to get you to stay, huh? It's a pity. Could reach your true potential here. Mr. Jocelyn, before we go, I just want to say that even after kidnapping my friends and tricking us into signing an ambiguous contract, I sometimes still thought of you as a pretty decent guy. Hero, might come as a surprise to you, but I always thought of you as the son I never had. Okay, I know you'll do great things out there. I'll get lost. Can't you see I'm busy? Thanks again, Mr. Jossum. Here, everyone. We're all together. We can continue to search. I know we'll find him, as long as you don't give up. You right, hero? Almost there. I can feel it. Wait for us. Find you no time at all. <laughs> Dedication I like to see. Go get him, you crazy kids. You know... He's not even in that bad of a guy. Surprise, children. Have you come to do battle with me again? <laughs> I just send you well. I'm feeling the after effects of our heated battle. The Mesrael I'll cherish forever. You've grown incredibly strong, but there is still room to improve. Flex with me, Cal. Show me what I've taught you. Yes, sir, Pluto, sir. Hoo-ha! Cal's ready for action. Who am I punching? No, I'm afraid you're mistaken. In this challenge, I won't be testing your power. I'll be testing your endurance. Brace yourself, Kel. I won't be holding back. I've lost a tooth. I hope that's reflected in his sprites. Expensive books for show. Alright, before I forget, take this. Ms. Shawson gave it so I could get around Last Resort faster. VIP keycard. Interesting. Hell yeah. Perfect. We did it again.
<laughs> Hi, I'm Mira. I'm new here. Do you have more dialogue? Okay. <sighs> I recently started playing uh, Kingdom Hearts with my wife. Uh, the original. Well, the first one. I'm playing Final Mix. Because, uh... Wow. The game has some problems. Um... Raw seafood. All right, I'm gonna go explore fourth floor again. God damn it. I'll do that off camera though. And hey, we're back. Was sent to do handiwork, but management bad. Predicting fall of empire. Whole pizza. Nice. Oh. Interesting. Okay, we can't disembark from here. Let's fight now that we've got all four. Oh. Sure y'all don't want to stay a bit longer, hero? Well, worth a shot. Oh, that's nice. Give me a farewell. Do all these guys have dialogue? Have a safe journey, fellas. You kids are growing up so fast. Oh, that's nice. That's sweet. Humans always strive for bigger and better things. Don't you run back crying when it gets tough. Yes, sir. All right. Boop, boop, boop. Find us how to move on, huh? Don't forget about us when you make it big. How sweet. Oh, we have a hero sandwich now. Wonderful. Let's have a picnic. <sighs> Sorry, big stretchy. So I'm recording this uh, same day as the last episode. And uh, as it happens, it's tax season in the United States. Um, we've had such a busy year so far that we haven't really been able to do taxes early, so. Interesting that we have something that makes the elevators go quicker. Finally get on the boss's good side? A little trouble, but I'll be looking out for you. Oh, that's nice. Woohoo! Gang is back! High five, everyone. Does anyone ever remember how we ended up here? I had the strangest dream. All There we were, all of us falling down an endless black hole. Next thing I know, signing life away through a contract. You know what they say? Sure is strange where life takes you. What are we doing again? We're looking for Basil or something, right? Yes, that's right, Cal. We are looking for Basil. Hmm. You'd be somewhere in the last resort? No way. Wouldn't be caught dead here. Does he seem like the type of person who enjoy things like this? I don't know, does he? Why don't we go around and ask anyone if they've seen him? Good thinking. We're pretty far away from home. I don't know if anyone here would know what he looks like. Why don't we all draw a picture of him? <laughs> Maybe people will be able to recognize him from the drawing. You two are full of good ideas today. Sounds like a plan. Cool, I'll start. Um, what is that? It looks nothing like Basil. 
Basil's hair is more like this. Hmm, no way, that doesn't look right either. What are you doing to my masterpiece? <laughs> Basil has such a big nose. Alright, let's see how we're doing. Yeesh, is that really what he looks like? Uh, I can't look. <laughs> the bad try. That didn't go well. Don't be so down. We can look for him ourselves. Find a place we haven't looked yet. Hmm. Start searching around the depot. You can get there by taxi, and there's always one in front of last resort. Same old, same old from the guy. All right, half an hour, half an hour. Let's have a picnic. And I'll see what my wife texted me. So, Mari, what do you do when you're waiting for us? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. I say hello and make small talk with the folks who pass by. That sounds exhausting. I can't small talk at all. Mari, tell us, who's the most interesting person you've come across? Oh, it's you, Aubrey. Aw. See, on this area, I see cranky tourists and gator guys. Gator guys are a little rough around the edges, but once they open up, they'll share just about everything with you. Even nicer than most of the tourists. A ain't that it, you know? Yes, I agree. All the gator guys I've met have been really nice to me. They are? They're always treating me like I'm in trouble or something. Let's see what else. I'm thinking of it. I do remember a chronically unlucky fellow named Snaily. You used to see him wandering around a lot. One time he tried to walk up to greet me, he fell into a hole. I never saw him again. <laughs> Boring. Next. Aw, oh, how sweet. Mari is so nice and pleasant that I kind of understand why Omori slash Sunny would construct a ludicrously overcomplicated fantasy world in which she's still alive just so she still can be alive. Yes, yes, yes! We can do this now! <laughs> Go, Mori. <laughs> what a hunk. Oh, Mori, have you been working out? <laughs> oh, they're so cute. <laughs> oh, yes, we can do this now. I'm so curious, man. I want to know. Beach ball. Oh, that's probably a thing for uh, my boy. Uh, drops juice, ups attack, and ups speed. Oh, interesting. Considering that, um, he has a thing. Contract. Heart and juice for other stats. Ooh, let's try it. Because all those boost is speed, and now we can use the thing that just attacks with raw speed. And see if it works. Anything for the boss's right hand man? I've never seen a wild cow. Do cows even exist outside of captivity anymore? Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Are there still wild cows? New cell phones, right? There are no wild cows anymore. All the domestic cows are descended from a single species of wild cow called Bos primigenis. Wow. The wild cow is now referred to as the auroch. Interesting. Hmm. Who knew? Alright, cool. Sorry. I mean, I don't know why I'm apologizing. You all would have uh, seen it same as me. 
Oh, hey, we can use this now. We really have three friends. All right, gonna move on, people. <laughs> it just deflates. Oh, it's so sweet. Look at this place. Oh, hey, we got Plutos. Yes, I do. I wonder if I should, um... Nah, I won't try. Let's get some good Pluto time in. All right, we're going to Pyrefly. <laughs> oh, it's still foggy everywhere. Interesting. So this is the butt end of the minecart system. Uh, pardon me, sir. Hey, that reminds me, I can swim now, can't I? I can. Golden Hero Sandwich. Oh, hey, it's this place. You guys want to get in? Justin told me the password once I... Once I could complete an errand. I love these guys. They're loads of fun. What's the password? What's the password? Hey, Hoagie. It's me, Hero. The password is... Here, my man. Welcome, welcome. Doors and lock. Come right in. Make yourselves at home, kiddo. Any friend of here is a friend of mine. Oh, it's a bear, but he's not aggro. Rarest bear. Ooh. Oif. The earth. Can't sue fruit juice to miners. Know the rules. Welcome to stay and enjoy the music. Doing a lounge with your friends. <laughs> Ah, uh, they got a little cardboard box. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, I love this game. So much heart in this game, man. Oh, there's a sprout one. <laughs> Sorry, bro. In a cruel twist of fate, I lost my entire family today. Curses, if only I was stronger. Ruben, take one more drink for my sorrows. Come right up, Max. Is that permanent juice? It might be. Hell yeah. Let's try fighting a rare bear now. Okay, so Kel did 125 to him. Notice is Aubrey. That's cute. Okay. So, 125. 140. That's not really worth it. Let's uh, swap that contract off you, bud, huh? Uh, he had the fedora on prior. Though that's a fascinating, um, I got a lot of money, wow. 
That's a fascinating idea of a uh, of an item, something that dumps some of your stats and pumps up others. What if this mirror's different? One of my friends told me to go back to some of the other mirrors because they'll be different. And of course, the only reason I'm really here is to do some side quest stuff. Okay. Whatever. Yeah, they wouldn't say much more than just, hey, make sure that you're using the mirrors a lot. So, you know, maybe there's something up. And if I beat the game, I'll just Google Omori mirror Easter egg, see what I get. Well, where'd you come from? Wow, this book sure is interesting. Hmm. 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 Sorry, I must have zoned out for a moment. Thank you for showing me this interesting book. I'll give you something in return. Let's see here. How about this one? Here you go. Collection of some of the saddest poems ever written. Enjoy it. What was I? Hmm. 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 Side quest completo. Is it an equip? Hmm. It is. Omori's the only one who would want to start uh, sad in battle, but he's got the cat ears. We can't get rid of those. Then I think it's this way for the other thing. Looks to be. Oh, that's my teddy bear. Aww. Happy to have you back, Teddy. Thank you for returning him. He's a small gift. Not much, but I hope you like it. A rubber duck. What should we play first? Oh, would you like a cup of tea? That bear just walked, huh? I was wondering if they would put one of those in, because that's a way for the other guys to catch up. Rubber duck. Doesn't like you very much. Alright, um, I'll pause it here. I was reminded that we have, uh, this thing. Deliver a thing to Brother Mole and Sprout Mole Colony, so I'm gonna go do that. Just remember that there was a thing I was cutting away from. Like, I was like, I'll be right back, right after this. And I was supposed to say something leading back into it. Alright. Whatever. Alright, so I'm gonna head up to Sprout Bowl Colony. Off camera, in fact. So I'll be right back. Encountered Pessy. I love Sweetheart. So much so that I have acquired tickets to the most prestigious event. I was unable to attain a ultra rare impossible to attain front row. My reputable salesman assured me my ticket will still seat me in a prime location. He's assured me the event will start many very soon, so I've been waiting in line here for many, many hours. Hmm. 
Should we tell him? I'm sure that any moment the event will begin and I'll be guided to my seat none other than my sweetheart herself. Now, as I'm the truest fan, I could not even think of coming to the event without my most precious thing. Take a look at my beautiful... What's this? It's missing? No, my most precious thing. I will not be able to attend my dream event without it. You four. Since you are undoubtedly lesser sweetheart fans, I must ask you to find my precious thing and return it to me. You'll know when you see it. <laughs> Alright. Messi seems to have lost a precious thing. Help my retracing his steps in Sproutwell Village. Okay. Hey, who could you be? Hey, kids, could have one over here. Messi dropped something valuable. Precious? Might be able to help you. Guy seems awfully shady. What's the catch, shady mole? <clears throat> As you already know, Sproutwells are intelligent, high functioning. The smartest of us, the mayor, is creating a uh, device that will help the Sproutwells do their work at a higher capacity than what was previously possible. Fable device of legend that will complete will revolutionize the modern world. He calls it the bed. The bed? What do you want that for? No questions. Give me a bed. We'll talk. Bed, huh? Seems simple enough. Like, hell, I don't know. He seems awfully untrustworthy. Maybe we should just give him a bed and see what happens. If you think so, hero, but something about him really rubs me the wrong way. So that's all the same. What? Two brother mole and sprout mole colony. Am I not in the sprout mole colony? I wanted to mention there's a lot of things in this game that are related to going up or down. Like big ascension, big descension. Go Stussy. You know, stuff like that. Blast, run the world with my good for nothing son. Asked him to analyze the effects of my latest invention in the bed. I'm longing to hear the results. He's not doing what I think he's doing. Oh god. What in God's name are you? King Carnivore and Root. Oh God, it is the Sprout Mole growing out of it. Look, we're up here. Oh, that's so weird. I hate this thing. It roars. <laughs> Catch up! I'm doing all the work. That's what they look like. Root absorbs nutrients. 91. Jeez, oh Pete. Alright, let's try to grind some more of them down. There we go. Get him, Mori. <laughs> wow. Now that's a lot of damage. Jesus. Let's get him, guys. There's one. Oh, Jesus. All right. Let's work on that root, huh? And you heal Aubrey. She is more important. Ooh. 
luckily, I think we'll kill the root fast enough that we actually won't, like, lose it, I think. Like, lose the damage we already did to the, to the big guy. Yeah, 107. We've already made that back. And then some. Uh, cook for you, huh? Take it, hero. Oh, so wonderful. Dunks on him with style. Oh, there's another one down. Now we just gotta work on the big fella. And hero took the bullet. Wonderful. So is this what his, um, thing, his, his invention was supposed to do? Ooh. Oh. Interesting. See if we can't finish him off, huh? Nice. What the hell was that thing? <laughs> Big XP, though. I'm kind of tempted to give Omori the book. The book is, I imagine, supposed to be here as a catch-up mechanic for and for party members who get left behind. But I could also just use it to widen Omori's lead. What's the word? Shed some tofu. Well, tough tits. If only had something I could wake him up. Ugh, this side quest seems like it's gonna be long and involved. Hey, what if we did this later? Pew! Whoop! Alright, we're back. Little side questy detour. Sorry about that, everyone. Oh my goodness. Hey, isn't that Sweetheart? Hey, Sweetheart, remember us? We're the kids who almost ruined your wedding. What? You four again? Why do you keep showing up? So how's married life treating you? Ha, married life's a joke. I had relations with that pitiful excuse for the captain long ago. But your wedding was literally yesterday. Oh no. Does that mean you and Space Husband are... Hmm. Space ex-husband now for all I care. Alas, my journey has gone full circle. It's more obvious to me now than ever that my perfect suitor does not exist. Don't say that. I'm sure your soulmate's out there somewhere. Oh, my sweet hero, how I've longed for your voice. But no, I must refrain. Decided my path. Searching for a suit is old-fashioned. I'll just... I'll have to decide I'll just make one. What? Make a suitor? Is that possible? But regular people means no, but a wealthy person such as myself does not abide by such rules. I'm going someplace only filthy rich people like myself can afford. To a family of sea witches that specialize in clients with special demands. Toodaloo, peasants. Late for my appointment. Interesting. So, should we follow her or what? I feel like every time Sweetheart shows up, something bad happens. Yeah, when it comes to disaster, she's in a league of her own. Hey, Seagull. Man in sight. Toll road. Okay, cool. We haven't been here yet. So what's this going to be? Armhole? Of course! Mom. 
muscle. <sighs> of freaking course. Aubrey, go! Oh wow, that's a big punch. You're gonna remember that punch. Sorry, I continually slide down into my chair. Wow, that's a lot of XP. Shucker. Oh my god, I want to fight it. Come on, let me fight you. Come on, I want to see it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Fish bunny. <laughs> oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> ah. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> oh, he's swimming a circle. Get him, Cal. Nice. Just what the party needed. Perfect. And we were, we we won round to him. Okay. Stolen furniture and miscellaneous knickknacks. Blueprints for two-story house. He flexes and feels his best. Let's see if Omori notices. Uh huh. Nice. There's one. So it looks like either there's like a minimum. It might work like on a damage threshold kind of system. Or maybe follow-up attacks aren't judged by the same rules. Like, I've been playing Slay the Spire recently. And, uh, spoilers. But I'm gonna have some videos on it as well. And some things in that game are... Deal this much damage. Whereas some things in those games say deal this much damage, but what they mean is these many numbers will come out of the enemy's health points. Toilet ramen. In a tube. So if you buff your strength and equip uh, inner tube, inner tube. Make swimming easier yet harder. Defense increases with energy. Oh, interesting. So we keep energy high. Cool. So if you buff your strength, those effects won't get stronger. But if your strength, if you're weakened by another enemy of some variety, um, those effects won't be affected at all. So no matter what, it's always going to do like five damage a turn or whatever. Like it's just going to do that. Wowzers. I kind of hope that Sunny and Aubrey end up happy in the real world. They don't have to be dating, you know? That's... Everyone getting married and falling in love and having seven children does not have to be the ending of every single person's, like, character arc, J.K. Rowling. It's fine for a man and a woman to remain friends. 
as a bisexual, if I didn't have friends of people, it was like... If I didn't have friends belonging to genders I could have sex with, I would have no friends. Does that make sense? The idea of men can't be friends with women disintegrates when you add other sexualities into it, as though it had any weight of its own to begin with. You hear about joke about construction? I'm working on it. Am I still mad about J.K. Rowling? Yes, and I will be until she becomes a good writer. And also not a hateful turf. Let's just stab him some more. Alright. Wow, that's a lot of XP, man. Pineapple juice. Watermelon juice. I'll try to finish this area out and then cut the episode. The batteries. Wow, look at the lighting in here. It's beautiful. You because you didn't want to pay the toll? You're the third group I've seen this week. Going this way is inconvenient, but you get to hold on to the sweet, sweet clams. You want to pay the last toll, trust me. Oh, so this is a shortcut into the main area. Air horn. We've got lots of XP. And it'll be lots of XP from those guys, but... They've got so much health and they up their defense so hard. <laughs> it's just a shark fin. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Look at their little face. They're like... I have to remember to not make stupid faces on camera because it's going to be on the internet forever. Get him, Aubrey. <laughs> There's one down. Oh, it's a sad shock thing. Interesting. I don't know if that'll mean anything, though. Also, since you're angry, you'll just take more damage. This is only hasten to the inevitable. Okay. Hopefully you can get this call in. Damn. I wanted a free heal. Oh, what are you, good sir? Reverse mermaid. Of course. Ugh. Reverse mermaids. How how gross. Oh, Aubrey, no. Get him, Cal. Up giving our greatest weakness lies in giving up. Oh, Mori kind of looks like a nut when he does that. A backflip, wow. Perfect. Death is not the opposite of life, but a part of it. So you gotta read what they say backwards. Hmm. 
Oh, I also just noticed that it says Omori bumped into Reverse Mermaid. Because you hit them, not the other way around. Come back. Is Kel happy? The sad was removed. Kel gains flex. Flex is Kel deals more damage next turn and increases hit rate for next attack. So I could put um, the thing that makes you sad automatically, the poetry book on. Interesting. One thing that's um, not quite like sad about the RPG genre, but is kind of a unfortunate side effect maybe, is that um, most RPGs are not really hard, you know? And if they are, you can kind of just keep it going just with the grinding, you know? It's a pretty easy way to keep your head above water. Um, and so normally you need something like a Shin Megami Tensei to be like really hard, where like it's really, really hard, but the buffs are also really, really good to even justify using, like, all the buffs and all the weird mechanics. Maybe Dark Souls is as well. Like, I like um, RPGs that are just kind of like a slaughterhouse. Because I do like it when the game forces you to get inventive and creative and makes you play really hard. Okay, is that everything? Or does this go down further? No. Okay, I guess we'll head back. But yeah, I, I kind of wish that there were more RPGs like that. It's why I'm really pumped for the Shin Megami Tensei 3 Nocturne uh, re-release. I'm probably going to do an LP of it because that game's really good. I really want them to do a re-release of Digital Devil Saga, and hopefully we can get some groundswell going for that. Fine, I'll kill ya. Oh, this too. I was kind of thinking about this, but I don't know if Undertale has an art style. That might sound a little harsh. Um, I think Undertale's value lies more in its music, musical clams, and training. Show them your support. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I feel like like Undertale just has like I know saying that like it doesn't have an art style, it just has drawings and pixel art is like that is an art style, but I feel like it doesn't have a consistent, cohesive visual style that really works for it, like some games do. Does that make sense? <laughs> Oh, and now we can use the shortcut thing. Because normally we wouldn't be able to swing the bat from on the ladder, I guess. Where's this area going? I thought I was going to explore more of the other place. Oh my god, he's dead. I'm sorry, fish bunny. Oh god. Can we get that to happen every time? Yeah, it's a good combo. Cool. Nice. Obviously, level 28. Is there an RPG wherein your level and age are the same thing? Oops, I missed it. Um, I know that Kingdom Death Monster has an aging mechanic. Uh, 
And the way that Kingdom Death Monster handles it's really cool. The deal with the game is... The game is centered around a bunch of RPG fights with large beasties. But the reason those fights happen is that they actually are part of a festival. They're the hunt festival. And they only happen once a year. That's why you go out on fights. I'm, you know, that's why you go hunting, even. So, of course, all the fights are a year apart. Because they're all, you know, a festival of the first fight. Oh. Alright, goodbye. Thank you. Okay, is there going to be... Yes, perfect. All right. Let's picnic. I can't believe we really made it into the end of the highway. But you did, and you should all be proud. The bridge at the top of this cliff leads to a place called Deeper Well. Word is, it's been around for a long time, but the bridge wasn't there until recently. Who knows it's on the other side? You think that's where Basil is? We don't know for sure. There's only one way to find out. Kind of hope that I get a, um... A thingy soon. Uh, because I want to go back and explore that other area, because I feel like I skipped it. But that's okay. Anyway. I've been Alpha. This has been Omori. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. Thank you for coming by. See ya.